Y'all, I, oh my God, I do not know why I am so freaking nervous to make this video, but I am, I can't. So we just gotta do it. Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty in the Frizz. This is probably the third time I've tried to do the beginning of this video. I don't know why I'm so nervous, but my name is Kara. Whether you're new or returning, thank you so, so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for this video. You have picked a great day because it is not mimosas and makeup, but we have the iconic Divine Blush Collection by none other than Mama Pat. So if you wanna see all nine shades and the quad and the highlighter and just have a good time, keep on watching this video. Let me know what you think and definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I would love to have you back. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, so I just have to mention that I have now been on YouTube for just over a year. My first video where I was talking was on May 18th of 2020, and it was just after Pat McGrath announced her launch of Divine Rose 2. So my very first YouTube video, I was actually doing a look with Divine Rose. This was really my intro to YouTube, so I'm gonna insert some footage somewhere, probably right now. Hi, good people. I am finally, finally starting my YouTube channel and I'm really happy to be here and that you stumbled across my channel. Uh, my name is Kara. Beauty in the Frizz stands for, I love beauty, and the Frizz stands for my frizzy hair. I am a second grade teacher. My ultimate favorite teacher is Miss Frizzle from the Magic School Bus and her students call her the Frizz. So that's where Beauty in the Frizz comes from. I felt like it really fit me. Couple things about me. I am a mom of two. I teach second grade. I use makeup as my form of therapy. I'm kind of on a journey with it, so. If you want to come on it with me, I hope you will subscribe to my channel and I hope that you will find something that you like on here. It feels good to still be here and then kind of close up this year with the Divine Blush Collection. I'm just really happy. So Pat McGrath is my favorite if you all don't know. And this is a long awaited launch. She played with us like four times before she actually came out with it. So she finally gave the kids what they wanted. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get into the description of the collection, then we'll get into the good stuff. Now, you know, Pat always has these grandiose descriptions and, and I'm here for it. So I got notes, I got, I got plans. So listen to this, Larable, luxurious, legendary, blush like an icon, Pat's most requested launch ever, the instantly indispensable Divine Blush creates a feather-like, long-wearing rush of couture color in demi-matte and satin finishes. Ultra-fine powder pigments deliver sensuously soft, brilliantly blendable application. All nine shades build effortlessly from sheer to subversive, bare to bold to beyond, ensuring a wondrous wash of customized color tailored to every skin tone and type embossed with radiant roses and sublime sun rays this new classic is the answer to the eternal question who makes you blush so I had to do it that way all right these are $38 they have an 18 month shelf life and they are made in Italy all right let's go ahead and look at the outer packaging so we have purple packaging now which is very nice and the purple roses. We've got her classic uh, signature embossing here, Pat McGrath Labs and Divine Blush. On the back, there's of course the product information and shelf life. Taking a look at the compact itself, sorry, I just cleaned it off so I didn't have fingerprints on it, but it says Pat McGrath Labs on the front. And on the back, we have a little message. It says Pat McGrath Labs, blush without caution, Fabulous flirtations and exquisite seductions may result with prolonged use. Hmm. So we have that message on the back, more product information and shelf life. I don't know who writes these descriptions and makes up these words, probably a teacher. All right, I just have to point out the beautiful embossing on these blushes with the roses and the sun rays. This is very gorgeous. Let me scoot up, grab a drink, and we are gonna get this going. 
Sorry, my throat was dry after reading that description. First up, we have Flirtatious, a soft beige pink demi matte. Next up is Nude Venus, peachy pink with golden pearl. And I love Nude Venus. I was hoping that this would be very similar to her Nude Venus Divinal Lip Shine, and it is. I'm actually wearing it right now. So here's the Divinal right here. And comparing it to the blush, you can see that it is very, very similar. I love that one. Okay, next we have Desert Orchid. This is a bronze rose with golden pearl. Shade four is Nymphette, soft pink with golden pearl. Shade five, Divine Rose, cool mauve rose demi matte or mauve. Shade number six is Cherish, a neutral pink demi matte. Shade number seven is Love Struck. It is a berry pink demi matte. Electric Bloom, a vivid coral demi matte. Last but certainly not least is Paradise Venus. It is a terracotta demi matte. And here we have all of the shades in the Divine Blush collection. And as you can see, we do have light to deep tones and it is my hope that everyone could find a shade that works for them. Look y'all, and I wore these in my first video too, these ears. I do wanna share about the launch experience. There was a little hiccup during the launch and the hiccup was that a lot of the kits, I think all of the kits were not available right at nine o'clock, which was when the collection went on sale, nine o'clock a.m. my time. You know, I know Yachty, I know Dr. Ash, they ended up purchasing things separately, but I believe everyone was refunded like the difference either that day or the next day. And that's happened before. The customer service experience that I have had has been great. Also, I ordered these blushes on Friday the 21st and they got here yesterday, which was the 25th. So that was a quick turnaround time and nothing sold out. So I do believe that, you know, she was well stocked for this launch. I'm gonna be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Primer, and then I'm gonna use her foundation just you know to have a nice base for trying on the blush. Um, this foundation is a little bit too dark, but it's expensive, so we're gonna use it. Okay, so that's pretty good. All right, let's get to what we've all been waiting for. All right, we're gonna start with the lightest shade, which is Flirtatious. Let me move up. No scent to this, so that's good, because I don't like that. And she did say that these blushes are layerable and buildable, so I'm gonna try to put you know, a good amount on and kind of stop along the way so you can see your desired level of pigmentation. Actually, this is, is this the right shade? Yeah, this is coming out darker than I thought. That's pretty. Hmm, I like that. All right, what do y'all think? This is such a different video for me, y'all. <laughs> All right, so that's flirtatious. I don't know. This seems a little deeper than it does in the pan, so I do agree with the buildable coverage. Moving on. All right, next up is Nude Venus. Switch sides. And again, I'm just kind of putting this on a little heavy just so we can see. Okay, really nice. All right, so that's Nude Venus. All right, so we have Flirtatious and we have Nude Venus. So one's a little bit deeper than the other. Okay, y'all, I'm outside. So here's Flirtatious and Nude Venus. Mm -hmm. Trying to give y'all the real feel. 
Okay. Okay, y'all, now we have a desert orchid and I switched my brush. Okay, I love this. This is one of the ones I was really excited about. All right, and I'm just gonna build it up a little more. And I really do like the sheen in the blush. And I think this is really good. Like if you don't like highlighter, but you don't need it to be completely matte either. This is like a great in between. And I can see how these would look nice with some layering, but I'm just gonna keep it, you know, just with the single blushes today, we can maybe do some layering in another video. So that is Desert Orchid. And now we're gonna go in with Nymphette. And again, y'all, I'm going in a bit heavy. I just want, you know, you to be able to see whether or not you think that you can build these shades up. I know people wear their blush differently, but I just, I'm being a little heavy handed on purpose. Go outside so we can see what it look like. Okay, we are outside now. We've got Desert Orchid on this side. You can see the sheen there and Nymphette on this side. Okay. All right, y'all, we are now gonna go in with Divine Rose. So this one is seeming to be a little deeper. I'm just thinking about how much uh, I'm having to put on and it's not very much. And this is a cooler toned shade. I mean, I think the blush is very pretty. I think this was a really good launch for Pat. All right, so that's Divine Rose. And on the other side, we're going to do Cherish. Ooh, don't know if I need a lot of Cherish. Okay, so this one is very, very pigmented. And like I said, I'm putting on extra because I pers would not be putting on all this blush like in real life. So I, I do feel like with uh, some of the lighter shades, you could almost build it up to, maybe not, I was gonna say to be this pigmented. I mean, they're definitely buildable, but if you just want one that you don't have to build up much, this one is it right here. So we have Divine Rose and we have cherish okay here we go we have divine rose on this side and we have mm, and we have cherish on this side so yeah see i'm glad i came outside because this is a lot that's a lot okay yeah let me come off the porch for this yeah so this one's pretty deep like pinks. All right, y'all, we have three more blushes left. So next we have Love Struck. Let me try going light with this one. Oh my God, wait, I can't, hold on. Okay, yeah, these are, are getting pretty pigmented. All right, so that's Love Struck. Feeling like Love Struck and Cherish might be looking similar on my face. Okay. Mm. Mm. I feel like this was like one of the really exciting ones people were uh, looking forward to, which is Electric Bloom. Tapping off my brushes a little, a little powdery. Again, y'all, I'm putting on extra. Cause I'm light, you know what I mean? So me putting on a little tiny bit is not gonna, you know, do anything for anybody with deeper skin. I mean, me putting on a lot might not do anything either, but me putting on like what I would normally put on for blush, 
I just don't feel like the video would be as helpful for people with deeper skin tones. I know I look like a clown now. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, actually. All right, let's go outside and see what it do. All right, y'all. So this is Love Struck. Uh, hold on. And this is Electric Bloom. So yeah. I think this would be good for deeper tones. It's definitely heavy on me though. There's River. River, say hi. Say hi. Oh God. Okay. All right, y'all. Last but not least, we have Paradise Venus. I'm gonna do a little smaller brush for this one. Sorry, that's a bit low for where I put my blush. <laughs> Hold on. Ooh, that's, that's deep. So a note to myself is I have to go light with these blushes. I do. I was kind of worried that they weren't going to show up well on camera, but I think these are showing up pretty well. So let's go outside and see what Paradise Venus looks like. I think I really like this one. Not as heavy though on me, but I really do like, you know what would look good with this one? The Desert Orchid, that, that uh, beige bronzy one. That's a combo right there. I might try that later. Okay, be right back. Okay, I don't know if y'all can. There we go. Daylight here. Y'all. Do it. Do it. We're talking about cicadas. That's my day. Oh my God, I can't. You wanna say hi? Hi. All right, y'all. Get back inside. It's hot. Oh, I like. Okay, let's go back in and talk about what I think so far. Okay, initial thoughts on the blush. All of the shades are beautiful. I think they all went on nicely. I don't really have textured skin, so it's hard for me to tell, you know, what it would look like if your skin has any type of texture. So let me know if you purchase the blush and have any thoughts about that. Now, as far as colors, standout shades for me with this collection, I was really, really surprised by Flirtatious. This was one of the ones I was not considering getting at all. And I love the way this one looked on my skin. It reminds me of a blush I have by Hourglass which I don't purchase from anymore, but I have an old blush called Ethereal Glow. That's what this reminds me of. And I really like the pigment on this blush. Nude Venus was a really nice blush as well. Although these do look different in the pan, I don't think there was a huge enough difference where I needed both of these, but I'm gonna use both of them. I'll probably use them both together. I think that I'm gonna be layering most of the blushes just because I have all nine of them. So I am going to use them. Desert Orchid, the third shade. I really like this one. This reminds me of something that I could pair nicely with my Melt Blush in Buzzkill. I just enjoy these beige, coral, orangey type shades. And this is kind of going that route. Paradise Venus and Desert Orchid. These two are gonna look really nice paired up. I also think Desert Orchid would look really nice with Electric Bloom. So yeah, these two together I think will look nice paired up. I think Nymphette was one I could have passed on. Between Nude Venus and Flirtatious, this kind of fits right in with those shades. I mean, they are distinctly different. I don't really think that the difference on my face was that significant. So we have Divine Rose, Cherish, and Love Struck. Now, Divine Rose and Nymphette, as you can see, I think that the differences are a bit slight. You might be able to tell a huge difference 
once you build them up, I'm not gonna be building them up that much. I also have to look at the editing to see if there was a huge difference between the Demi Mattes and the Pearl shades. And the last two shades we're gonna look at are Cherish and Love Struck. I definitely think you could choose one or the other. So, you know, one is more hot pink than the other and one is more of a berry, I think. I just think they looked similar on the face. Overall, this was a great launch for Pat McGrath. This is what we've been asking for. I thought she was only gonna come out with one shade. Now that I've tried all nine on, I think she could have had the same effect possibly with five shades, but here's the thing. I am taking my skin tone into account. I have a neutral skin tone even though i may like the way i look in certain colors better i can pretty much wear any color and everybody doesn't feel like that and some people depending on their undertone and their skin tone these slight differences could make all the difference in how the shade looks so it's hard for me to really say she could have got away with just five shades but i would really love to hear an opinion from someone with a deeper skin tone or someone who says they have a pink undertone or an olive undertone or a gold undertone i would love to hear how you feel about these blushes and do you feel as though you know these slight differences in color really make that big of a difference on the skin or you know is it is it really slight so those are my thoughts about the blush I am happy to have them. I'm happy to have them just to reference and I'm happy to have them to play around with it because I for damn sure didn't spend all this money to not be wearing them. So I will be using them in different ways, layering them, combining them and trying them out you know, just to make some different combinations. And next we're gonna get into the eyeshadow quad and the highlighter. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. August is over there. He's being so compromising. I was like, you can stand here. He's like, may I have a blanket? Who is this kid? And headphones. We are going to be looking at the highlighter as well as the quad. So let's go ahead and start with the Divine Glow Highlighter in the shade Golden Nectar. It is $48. Here is the description. Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter. Turn your complexion on with dazzling divi- No, no mom is lightning. That's okay, it's just thunder. In the morning? It's just a thunderstorm, it's okay. Turn on your complexion with dazzling divinity. This high polished pressed gold highlighter combines skin loving botanical oils with multi-toned micro pearls. Multi luminosity blends seamlessly into skin for a smooth with an ultra reflective finish and imperceptible silken feel. The luxe satiny powder instantly imbues everything it touches, ranging from cheekbones to decollage with gilded glass-like luster and solar flare shine. Okay, anyway, it has an 18 month shelf life and it is made in Italy, so. Now this has the same packaging as the blush. Again, we have the Pat McGrath title on the front and here is what Golden Nectar looks like and it doesn't have a little cute message on the back. Really fast, you see this is very light. I mixed Desert Orchid with flirtatious i just didn't want to overpower the highlighter so i did not buy any of the brushes that came with the set i just felt like that would be doing too much says the person that bought every blush this is what it looks like here this is giving me natasha denona i need a nude highlighter vibes maybe now yes i do like this highlighter I don't have the last highlighter. I will probably get that too eventually, the Divine Rose one, but I do have the Hockey Puck one, so I will compare it to that one as well as her highlighter trio. So yes, I like this Golden Nectar shade. This is really pretty actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's very smooth. I don't feel like it's too much, and I think that it can be diffused out for a more natural glow. <coughs> Bless you. I do like that. Hmm. I can see myself using this one daily, whereas the other ones, no. 
So let's go ahead and compare it. So this is the one that came out. I'm sorry about the fingerprints, but this came out for the holiday season, which is this one here. And this is champagne gold. Champagne gold has more of a pink tone and it's a bit brighter. Next, we're going to take a look at the Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio, which I actually love more than the Champagne Gold Highlight. And it looks like this. There are three shades, obviously. The first shade is Pink 003. These may not be everyday highlights, so that's more of an iridescent pink. We also have Fine Gold 003, which is a gold with more of an iridescent. As you can see, this one to me is just more natural, more skin-like. The last shade is Bronze Nectar 003. And this one I definitely think is going to be too dark for the lighter skin tone. So this one is a little more universal to me. Let me know. It just seems more like a natural highlight. Here we have the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Glow Highlighter. All right, honestly, there's not a big difference between these two. So here's the Natasha Denona, here's the Pat McGrath. If you have the Natasha Denona highlighter, I just don't see a need to have the Pat McGrath highlighter unless you just love Pat McGrath like me. Look at that, they look the same. Let us move on to the last part of the video, which is going to be the eyeshadow quad. And if you are still with me through all of this, Thank you. We are now looking at the Venus in Fleurs Lux Quad Voyeuristic Vixen. It retails for $58. Ignite flirtatiously smoldering fantasies with this Lux Limited Edition Quad. Four covetably carnal bronze and copper hues span an array of finishes, including crystalline sparkle and buildable creamy matte. The silken powder formula glides on, imparting a petal soft, even layer of intensely saturated color in a single swipe. This captivating quartet was designed to satisfy your most dazzling daydreams, ranging from fetish worthy artistry to everyday erotic enchantment. To 18 month shelf life and made in Italy. Keeping with the theme, here is Voyeuristic Vixen. Now the outside of this quad is the same as her other quads. It has the black lacquered packaging with the icons. She also has the shade names on the back and it says use without caution. Shade throwing and eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use. And here is the inside of the quad. Now this is very pretty. I know some people are not excited about this neutral quad, but I do think this may be a special shade. So let's go ahead and swatch. So the first shade that we're gonna look at is Moonlight Liaison. That's that. It's like an off-white color. I don't know, I'm not good with the colors. Next we have Rose Fire Nectar. And I think, ooh, this is a special shade here. I don't want to tell y'all what this shade reminds me of because <laughs> I say it in every video about something I swatch reminding me of Tucana by Davina <laughs> every time. Can y'all see the gold shift with the pink? It's a popular shade and it's really pretty. See it? How pretty is that? That's, that's gorgeous. Next, we're looking at the shade After Dusk. It's a beautiful matte shade. And last, we're looking at Twilight Bronze. So here's Voyeuristic Vixen. I definitely think that this is a beautiful quad, beautiful color combination. We may have wanted something more exciting, but you know, she was just giving us a little trinket to go with these blushes because the blushes are what people were really looking for, so. All right, so let's get into a quick eye look with this quad. Gonna start with the After Dusk shade here and for both eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the transition area. So as usual, this matte shade is consistent with the mattes that I normally use from Pat McGrath. All right, let's try out these shimmers. Let's go ahead and try out 
the special shade which is rose fire nectar uh i'm not doing like a cut crease or anything look at that that's pretty let's go ahead with the finger i'm gonna just use tiny 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 bit of fallout again i'm using it dry though on the other eye we're gonna use the twilight bronze I think these quads are really good for people who want to do a quick look with a little variation. You can't mess this up. You can't mess these looks up. They're easy, they're quick, they blend very well, and I'm not mad. I just want to try out the Moonlight Liaison shade. I'm just gonna put that underneath the brow bone and in the inner corner as well. This is a really nice inner corner highlight, but it could also work really nicely on the lid. Let's put it under here too. Gonna take a little more of our after dusk. We're gonna put that underneath the lower lash line and a little more in the outer corner just to make it a little smoky. This is one of my favorite brushes. This is the Ruffer 26. And those are the two eye looks. And those are quick and cute. This is cute. But let's talk about is it a must have. Let me get myself together real quick. Okay, you guys, so before I finish this look off camera, I definitely want to do some comparisons so that you can decide on whether or not you need this quad. Now, again, we don't need anything, so let me rephrase. We wanna see whether or not we want this quad or you want this quad, because I already got it. Two things came to mind from the Pat McGrath collection that I have. The first is Divine Rose. All right, obviously, these are very complimentary. I'm going to swatch a few of the shades. So let's take a look at Extreme Mahogany and then the After Dusk. Those are the deeper mattes in the palette. On the top we have Extreme Mahogany and After Dusk. So yeah, this is more of a plum or yeah, and this is more of a brown. So they're not the same, but like from here they look the same. So they might look the same on your eyes. I want to check out VR Rose Venus and Rose Fire Nectar. Okay, so these are definitely not the same. Uh, VR Rose Venus does have a shift, but it's not like the duochrome that uh, Rose. So VR Rose Venus does have a bit of a shift, but it is a different formula and a bigger shift in rose fire nectar so uh just for kex we're gonna look at the twilight bronze shade and we're gonna look at let me get it it is astral solstice which is another uh special shade this is the astral solstice and this is the Twilight Bronze, so not the same at all. And then last but not least, let's take a look at Moonlight Liaison and Skin Show Nude. So we have Moonlight Liaison, and then this is Skin Show Nude here. I think these have a very similar formula. So Moonlight Liaison and Skin Show Nude. Mm -mm, y'all, look really close to me. One more shade. Let's try After Dusk, which is the deep shade. And then I think this is, I wanna say this is Rose Dusk. These are a similar shade, but a different finish. So After Dusk is from Voyeuristic Vixen and that's Rose Dusk. Uh, again, similar shade, different texture. So those are the shades in divine rose that i thought were similar now the other palette that i want to look at is ritualistic rose which is one of her quads that she came out with that was all special shades and let's see if we can get these in there together so these are the two quads also complimentary 
this squad is okay i do like that now that she has these quads with the one matte shade because although her regular metallics i think you can use like mattes these special shades are a little bit different here are both of the quads so this is the voyeuristic vixen quad and then on the bottom we have ritualistic rose so they are not the same but they are complementary it's just something to think about so now that we've done the comparisons we've tried on everything i'm gonna finish this eye look and then we will wrap this one up i'll be right back let me show you the final look and i, I saw marky peeking i saw marky peeking for snacks you saw marky peeking for snacks yes. what kind of snacks kind of okay thank you for telling me so I've had this look on now for a couple hours. So here we go. This is the look with the dual chrome shade. And then this is the look with the twilight bronze shade. Uh, oh, fire rose nectar is this one. And then twilight bronze on the lid for this one. I think it's very pretty and it's making me want to even pull out divine rose again because maybe that one needs a little more attention from me i don't know final thoughts on this collection where do i begin the blushes are beautiful and i can't wait to play with the colors a bit more my other thoughts are that you don't need all of the colors some of the colors look the same or look very similar on the highlighter is very pretty if you have the natasha denona one though it's very very similar to that but i do think that golden nectar is a really nice everyday shade you need to check your collection first because you might have something very, very close. Last but not least, as far as the eyeshadow quad is concerned, I think it's beautiful as well. However, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be using it. It's really nice for someone who doesn't need a whole lot of colors. It's like some basic neutral color story. I think the quad goes with all of the blushes. It's definitely something you can make a little quick grab and go look and you don't have to put much thought into it. So those are my thoughts on the collection. I definitely wanna do an update on how I'm feeling. What I'm thinking about doing is doing a mini update when the lip kit arrives. I forgot about that. Before I go, y'all probably wondering, yes, my mom did make me some Pat McGrath rocks. I just haven't seen her yet to have them. So I'm gonna pop up some pictures so y'all can see what they look like. They're very, very nice. So in any case, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me. Embarking on this YouTube journey has been great. Yeah, I started this thing. I didn't really know where it was gonna go. I had no idea how passionate about making these videos and connecting with people and you know the makeup too i just didn't know what this was going to turn into i'm very thankful i appreciate the comments and the feedback i love that you guys are interested in my outside of makeup life like marky getting on the bus and things like that and i do as i said in my first video i really hope you all are finding something that you like here and um i just want to keep it going so until i see you all again be gentle with yourself talk to yourself nice stay safe and i will see y'all in the next one bye <laughs>